So what's the deal with NFTs? Should you buy them? What are they? Is this some kind of a fad? Let's go look into this video right now. So welcome to my video, it's Big G Money Investments. And uh, yeah, so basically my background is art and commerce. So I always hear about NFTs and people ask me, should you buy it? Should you not buy it? What is it? So in this video, let's explore what it is and why a video on YouTube is all of a sudden fetching hundreds of thousands, even more dollars for just a video for an NFT. And you know, what it, whether you should make NFTs or buy them. So let's uh, explore in this video. So what is an NFT? Is this some, what does this abbreviation mean? It's basically a non-fungible token, which is a digital asset, which represents in layman terms, a real world, uh, real world object that you can buy and sell including like for example, the Charlie bit my finger video and the NFTs are sold online using cryptocurrency and blockchain generally encoded with the same underwriting and software that many cryptocurrencies use, including Ethereum. And although this phenomenon has been around since 2014, NFTs are gaining notoriety now because they are becoming increasingly popular as a way to buy and sell artwork and other creations online. And NFTs are generally one, one of a kind only objects that you can sell online that are very limited in supply and are very unique. Essentially, it's a bragging rights for a thing that you own online and uses digital scarcity. So for instance, the famous artist who I talked about in my other video, Michael Winkleman, AKA Beeple, sold at Christie's his work for over $69 million for a JPEG of 5,000 composite images of drawings and images of an NFT of every days called the first 5,000 days. And this is incredible because it was kind of a benchmark for the amount of what people are willing to buy and pay for for an NFT of basically a file using blockchain that proves that you're the unique owner of this in terms of bragging rights. So an NFT allows a buyer to own anything like an original item, but it contains built-in authentication of blockchain, which serves to prove his ownership, meaning, hey, I own this, I'm the only, you know, I'm the only owner here. And in terms, of, it's like digital bragging rights. Like, oh, I have this unique, like unique oil painting, but I only have it in digital form of this image online. So it's really cool, actually. So it stands for non-fungible token, which generally uses the same network as cryptocurrency and runs on a lot of things like Ethereum. But the fact is with Ethereum and like cryptocurrency, you can, it's fungible, meaning you can transfer ownership, it's more liquid. But with this, it's non-fungible, meaning, meaning it's non-corruptible. It's one thing at a time. So it's hard to duplicate, steal, and kind of fraud, like fraud this item. So, but you can transfer NFTs, but it's proof that only one exists and that you're the unique owner. The thing about supply and demand is about what people will pay for it in, in terms of supply. And typically it runs on Ethereum. So usually you want an Ethereum wallet to buy it using the blockchain and NFTs are created and minted. So essentially how they're made is they're created and minted from every items and things and tangible things that we all know about, which is not that complicated these days, including art, gifts, um, YouTube videos, including, you know, Charlie bit my finger, sports highlights, collectibles, um, clothing, avatars, a lot of AI and really cool things like from fashion and sneakers and a lot of influencers are using it. A lot of celebrities are and a lot of common people are. I think this is really cool because it's decentralizing the game for artists and creators. You no longer need these galleries and auction houses to be the middle people and essentially get more profit and artists can monetize more. But, you know, like I said, not everybody's gonna, not everybody's gonna sell a $69 million work, but you know, it's allowing, it's opening the ball field for more people to monetize their art, artistic creations online. So how do you buy NFTs? Like where do you buy it? Is there a marketplace? So if you've been keen to start your own NFT collection or to buy them, you can acquire them First, like so, to first acquire them, you'll need a digital wallet on applications such as Coinbase and other things where you have, for example, Ethereum is very popular to buy it. And that's how you'll pay for and purchase a lot of these NFTs because it uses blockchain and cryptocurrency like Ether. Ether but there are other ones that are um, such as Cardano, other things that you can use here and more competition coming up. And you can also buy them on your credit card or like Amex on Coinbase. So you can use it on Coinbase to buy Ethereum using your, you know, your card or your debit card on the wallet of your choice. So it's quite easy to buy them. 
So in terms of popular NFT marketplaces to get you started, either to create or to sell your creations, once you're all set up with the wallet, um, there's plenty of websites out there. So one of the biggest marketplace for NFTs is OpenSea. And essentially this is kind of like a peer to peer platform, like a social media page where you, you people list their NFTs and it, it conveys itself as a purveyor of rare digital items and collectibles. So another one is called Rarible, similar to OpenSea. And Rarible claims itself to be a democratic open marketplace that allows artists and creators to issue and sell NFTs. So that's probably the number two NFT place to buy and sell your creations or if you wanna buy collections. But investing in NFTs is largely a personal decision. And you know, if you're creative or you're invested, so never spend more money that you know, you're not worth, will, you're not scared to losing on it. But you know, if you wanna invest in a new creative art world and digital art, which is growing beyond its original 2% market cap as the art market, it's good. It's a good way to kind of diversify what you're investing in if you want to kind of learn more about this field. And if you're an artist, you can monetize your creations on there and sell your, you know, your videos, your music, those kind of things on there. So it's a really good way to explore the kind of the digital future of the economy and creations through blockchain. So guys, you know, this is a new field of economics and investing. So should you invest in NFTs, like I said, that's your decision. Always do your research ahead of time. You know, experiment if you want. It's great if you're an investor and you're just getting started. And it's very decentralized, meaning that a lot of people can jump in and invest. And if you're an artist too or creator, you can get started um, selling and monetizing your content on these websites now. So always do your research ahead of time. And this is really exciting. I think blockchain in terms of digital art and commerce and investing is gonna be one of the most revolutionary things of this century and i think it's really exciting so you know i'll check in in a year with you about nfts and crypto and yeah so if you have any questions hit me up on my instagram and make sure you subscribe to my channel big g money investments get you started investing with the link to weeble below you know deposit 100 dollars or more and get started and get two free stocks up to 1815 so get that if not totally cool and i'll see you in the next video ciao